You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, and now live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. 20 years ago, I would read articles out of MIT publications or an occasional BBC article about transhumanist UN plans to establish a planetary government and merge us with machines. Now I see them every day. The decision has been made. That's the problem. We're following a global plan. We're going under world government now via secret treaties. That's in CNBC today. They go on CNBC and say, we're under world government run by private banks. We're all slaves. They say that all the time. So in many ways, my broadcast has become obsolete. And I kind of pause there, not on purpose. It's just having that realization. Because we've gone from just trying to warn people it was coming and now it's here. And, and then Stars and Stripes puts out an article basically lying, implying we're lying, about the public military drills for gun confiscation and everything else. And of course, they're going to have some drills of saving hostages and some drills of taking over government buildings. But it's all mixed together, different training. But in the end of the day, it's all about the takeover. And so the pastor calls in, who's a veteran, and says, I'm confused. You know, it's prophecy. Why, why are we talking about getting Ted Cruz elected or Ron Paul or Rand Paul when it's all foregone conclusion? I think it's the way prophecy's been presented by the Schofield Bible and everything the last 200 years or so, that prophecy's coming, there's nothing you can do, then it's the end of the world, and Jesus comes back, and that's just the way it is. Well, no. We change the future destiny with what we do. And I'll use the uh, analogy, well, some analogy, the parable, the history of uh, Jonah going to Nineveh, and they repented, and they got a 100-year reprieve. It was destroyed 100 years later. And so regardless, justice be done by the heavens fall, I'm going to expose this beast system. Whether we change it or not, it's our job during this great time to warn people. But we can't even get the big churches now to tell people don't take the microchip, don't take the Google Glasses, don't take the... I mean, big mega churches here in town, the kids go there and play... Xbox Connect, it face scans you, voice prints you, looks through walls, records everything you're saying. They just don't understand. And they're accepting. And so it's a process. So we are obsolete when it comes to just exposing the world government. Because before, they would play games and say it wasn't being built. Now they're rolling it out, so they're going, yeah, we built it, but so what, kook? Well, so what? It's unelected. So what? It's tyrannical. So what? It's anti-human. So what? At the end of the day, it's a world without people that's being built by these engineers. So go ahead, Barry. You got one minute to respond back. You say you're confused. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, think, I think you see what I'm saying. Uh, I, I do think it's going to play out, as the Bible said. I don't believe that that gives a person to be sort of apathetic about it, but I think a lot of the points that you bring up are, are just, you're kind of like John the Baptist, the voice in the wilderness, you know, crying this stuff out. You're, uh, you're actually exposing it, which as a pastor, I think is a good thing. When you say that we should vote with our dollar, I agree with that, but there's actually a 10-year plan to replace the dollar as the world's Reserve I know. Currency, the and the U.S. today announced they're going to join with the new Global China Investment Bank. And so that's the beginning of the global currency right there. Absolutely. I, I agree with you, sir. God bless you. I, I just...
Look, I'm going to tell people fluoride's killing them. I mean, at least we could not brain damage all the kids. All I can do is fight these people. When cells become toxic, they die early and aging sets in. No one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. Just one of the key compounds, BioPQQ, is backed by major clinical studies. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? We now have the Synergistic Solution. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. How you doing, Alex? Good, brother. Just recently started using your products. Everything you said about them is correct. Me and my wife both use a lot of them, and it's made a lot of changes in our lives here. Well, thank you, brother, because it also funds our operation. But doing that, I know I've got to have the highest quality. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. We do the Super Male and the Super Female Vitality. Big changes, a lot of energy. We've gotten off of the cheap energy drinks, energy shots saving a ton of money there. Sourced from powerful organic herbs, harvested around the planet, and then concentrated for maximum potency. They want to stun and dumb down, and energy drinks and stuff just cover that up for a while, but then burn you out, in my experience, whereas stuff that gets your glands naturally going goes right to the source. So it's pretty exciting, and I love it. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your super male vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Ultimately, the globalist social engineers want to control your mind, your intellect. And that's why it's important that Ted Cruz has announced he's running for president. Because on the policies he puts out, I agree with about 95% of it. Abolish the IRS, get rid of the Federal Reserve, end Obamacare. We can do that. These are unconstitutional, illegal, unpopular screw jobs. Our forebearers have defeated tyranny before. We have to believe we can do it. The alternative is greasing the skids for the globalists to run over us. We have to sabotage the new world order culturally. We have to not comply. We have to say no. But we have to put out alternative ideas with a different option for our destiny to build a better world. Dr. Edward Gribbs joining us here in about five minutes. We'll continue with your phone calls, Peter and Sparrow and others, I'm going to go to you before I even go to Dr. Group, who we're lining up on Skype right now to get into some major uh, news announcements and things that are developing. But speaking of the battle for hearts and minds, both these articles are on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com right now. And you can fight back by taking action and by spreading these articles. Hollywood making major gun control movie 
drama about anti-gun lobbyist who pushes through federal gun control bill, making them heroes. Here's another one. Democrats have not given up on ammo ban. New York Democrat plans to lean on new ATF bus. Well, the, the ATF can't pass laws. Neither can the FCC, but they are. They're not laws. They just say so. The resignation of ATF boss P. Todd Jones does not single and signal the end of the effort by Democrats to outlaw ammunition for one of the most popular rivals in America. They are 15. The new director, Thomas Braden, plans to meet with New York State Democrat Steve Israel about renewing the push. And then he goes on with the announcement. Continuing, we're going to get to this later. NATO chief, Russia still sending arms to Ukraine. Chinese economy dangles on a cliff. Talking about voting with your dollars, organic dairy farming struggles to keep up with demand. And then the article out of Star Tribune breaks down the exponential increase in the desire for non-GMO milk. Very exciting. Again, that shows how we can culturally change things. But this story is huge out of Philly.com. FEMA to deny funds to warming deniers. Your state gets taxed. You get taxed in the state. The money gets sent to the feds. They send it back with strings attached. And now they're saying, if your state doesn't go along with global warming garbage and global warming support for taxes and shutting off your power plants and brainwashing kids that polar bears can't swim and all these lies that the Federal Emergency Management Agency will deny you emergency aid and funds. That is illegal. That is criminal. That is like seeing somebody, it's like cops saying, if you don't give me a raise, I'm not going to pull over when I see a car wreck. I, I mean, th this is um, just amazing. And it sets a precedent for all the rest of the power grabbing. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is making it tougher for governors to deny man-made climate change. Starting next year, the agency will approve disaster preparedness funds only for states whose governors approve of hazard mitigation plans that address climate change, which means smaller toilets, smaller cars, regulations, taxes, uh, support taxes on carbon dioxide and water vapor. I mean, this is a huge deal. So they're going to keep your money. And by the way, FEMA taxes everybody with the insurance. So you pay. Part of your money you end up paying gets siphoned off into FEMA. The, just a criminal organization. All right, I want to play Ted Cruz's new presidential run ad uh, that just premiered today. He gave a 30-minute speech that we have linked on Infowars.com uh, announcing uh, what, he, what he plans to do. Uh, but right now, let's go ahead and play this ad. Then we're going to go to a few of your calls. Then Dr. Edward Group, who we ha have via the video uh, connection. Let's go ahead and go to this ad. My story is like that of so many other American families. I'm the son of an immigrant father who fled oppression in Cuba and came to this country with just $100 to his name. My mom was a pioneer in computer science, smashing glass ceilings at a time when women were discouraged from following their dreams. And now as a husband to Heidi, and a father to our two little girls, Caroline and Catherine. I try to share the same messages of hope, freedom, and faith in God that I was raised with. Amen. That's why I've worked so hard to lead the fights to defend these cherished values, like the historic battle to defund Obamacare, standing up to the leadership from both parties to fight a debt ceiling increase, and, bring and putting everything on the line to stop President Obama's illegal and unconstitutional amnesty. We've sent a clear message that America will stand with our allies and against our enemies, and taken on an IRS that was threatening and intimidating its citizens. And the divide that exists in our country isn't between political parties. It's between Washington and the rest of us. It's a time for truth, a time to rise to the challenge, just as Americans have always done, and give bold voice and action to reclaiming the unlimited potential of each and every one of us. Your fight is my fight. I believe in America and her people. I believe in the conservative principles upon which this country was built. And I believe we can stand up and restore 